This is part 5 of Angular 6 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss form control and form group classes. These are the two classes that we use to build a reactive form. Having a good understanding of these two classes, their properties and the methods they provide help us understand reactive forms better. In a reactive form, we create instances of form control and form group classes. Both these classes derive from abstract control base class. So if we take a look at create employee form, notice here we are creating a form group by creating an instance of the form group class and here we are creating a form control by creating an instance of the form control class. So if we take a look at the definition of form control class and by the way to get to the definition of a specific class right click on that class and then select go to definition or you can use this shortcut key F12. Notice this class extends the base class abstract control and similarly if we go to the definition of this form group class this class also extends the base class abstract control class and if we take a look at the definition of this abstract control class as the name implies this class is an abstract class meaning we cannot create an instance of this class. It can only be used as a base class but this class has got several properties that we can use to track both form control and form group value and state. Here are those properties value, errors, valid, invalid etc. So as we scroll down within the definition of this abstract control base class we can see all those properties valid, invalid etc that we have seen on the slide. So the important point to keep in mind is an instance of form control class tracks the value and state of an individual HTML input element this form control instance is associated with. So to associate this form control instance with an HTML input element we use the form group name directive. So if we take a look at our create employee component view template notice to associate this full name form control instance with full name HTML input element we are using the form control name directive. A form group instance on the other hand tracks the value and state of all form controls in its group. Notice here we are creating a form group instance and within this group we have got two form controls full name and email. So this form group instance is going to track the value and state of both these form controls full name and email. To associate this form group instance with an HTML form element, we use form group directive. And remember, both these directives, form group and form control name, are provided by Reactive Forms module. So, bottom line, we create instances of these two classes, form group and form control, and associate these instances with the respective HTML elements on the form. This creates what is called as a form model. To see that form model, let's log this employee form property, which is an instance of form group to the browser console. Let's remove the value property and save the changes. Now let's fill in this form. Launch browser developer tools. And then click the save button. Notice the form group instance is logged to the console. This is the form model. So this form group instance tracks the value and state of this entire form. So if we scroll down, we see the value property here and we can see all the form control names and their values tracked by the value property of the form group. Not just the value, the form group also tracks the state of the form. That is, whether the form is valid or invalid, whether it is dirty or pristine, whether it is touched or untouched. So we have all those properties at the form group level as you can see right here. We also have this controls collection property and it contains instances of all form controls in that form group. So if we take a look at our form group, notice it has got two form controls, full name and email. And we can see these two instances within the controls collection property. And at each form control instance level, we can see the same set of properties that we have just seen at the form group level. That is dirty, invalid, pristine, valid, touched, untouched, etc. So if we expand 
one of the firm control instances notice we can see that same set of properties dirty invalid pristine etc so the important point to keep in mind is a form control instance tracks the value and state of an individual html element that it is associated with on the other hand a form group instance tracks the value and state of all the form controls in that form group notice this employee form property here its type is form group so accessing a form group value and state is straightforward for example if you want to check if a form group is dirty or not we simply use the dirty property if you want to check whether if it is touched or not we use touched property and similarly if you want to access the form group value you simply use the value property now let's see how to access the value and state of an individual form control instance that is present inside a form group there are two ways employee form which is a form group instance and we know a form group instance has got the controls collection property which contains instances of all of our form controls within our form group we have got a full name form control instance so we use full name and then on that we use dot value to retrieve the value of that full name form control or to find out the state we can use the respective properties like touch dirty pristine etc another way is to use the get method so on the form group we use the get method and then specify the string name of the form control in this case we want full name so we specify that and then to retrieve the value we use dot value to find out the state use the respective properties dirty pristine touched etc now let's look at both these approaches in action let's make a copy of these two lines and then change the bits that are required So on the form group we know we have got controls collection property and on that we know we have full name property and we want to check whether if this full name form control is touched or not so we use the touch property another approach is to use the get method on the form group and then specify the name of the form control let's use full name again and then let's retrieve its value let's fill out this form and then click the save button notice we have the respective properties logged to the browser console as expected now the important point to keep in mind is this same code works in both the view template and in the component class we've just seen this code in action in the component class so let's try it out in the view template so just after the closing form tag I'm going to paste some HTML this HTML is very straightforward we have a table here and we are displaying the form group state and value in this first TD and in the second TD we are displaying the full name form control state and value so here notice we are using the employee form form group property and then we are using touched dirty valid value properties we are passing the value of the form group through the JSON pipe to display it properly and in the second TD using the get method of the employee form property we want full name form control so we are passing its name and then using that same set of properties touch dirty valid value etc to retrieve the full name form control value and state so let's save this form and take a look at the browser let me zoom this in a bit notice as I type into the respective HTML elements the properties change as expected So, both these classes, form control and form group, derive from the base class, abstract control class. We have just seen the useful properties that this class provides, like dirty, touched, pristine, valid, invalid, value, etc. In addition to those properties, this class also provides these useful methods, set validators, clear validators, etc. In our upcoming videos, we're going to use these properties and methods for form validation and working with data. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.